head up or down him, how important to have Fernandinho back? And he always seems to say that he's maybe the most difficult player for each of the players for life. For life. I don't know. Well, it's all really important. Fernandinho is really important, but still is a little bit far away from his best condition. And we cannot forget Gundo how how did how good you know he played and and he did it in this in his absence. It was incredible. The last four or five games, Gundogan was massive player for us. But we need we need uh, Kevin. We need of course people from staying in Manchester like Vincent, like uh, Phil. So next game is going to to make few changes. So we cannot win the Premier League and the other tournament just with the players to to play. So a few players going to play against Cardiff. And I want the best of them to, to play and so important and Kevin and, and, and Fernandinho and the others are back. So important for us. mentioned that physically uh, the squad was in really good shape going for the full trophies. What about mentally? Is the squad uh, well, as no, good as any you've got? Well, I think there's no complaints about that. What happened last season and this season again is that mentally we are there. We were there. I think we are there. The players are not the stupid. The fact we are living something so difficult to achieve, arriving beginning in April to fighting. We have won two titles this season and fighting for the other three. So it's, uh, it's they know it. The way we start to play, they show me uh, we want to do it. We, we want to try it, not do it, no, because it's so difficult, but we want to try it. It's not think too much in the titles, it's what's next. What's next is Cardiff, prepare well and, and go like a, a machine to, to win, to, to play and and try to win. And one day maybe it's not going to happen, except the reality. So that is what it is. But I think mentally the people is, uh, are ready. Uh, Matt Barlett, Mail. Um, can, can you give us an idea of how you approach this little spell of games now? You said there's seven games left in the league, you've got to win every one. Do you know in your mind who plays when? And no. Well, I had a little bit, yeah, before the games that I see, take a look a little bit, the players, how they come back. Uh, for the injuries and of course, of course in Cardiff I, I have an idea a little bit. Yeah, but I don't think more far away from that. That so what's next? That is the we speak quite quite often. What's next? So next is not Brighton, it's Cardiff, and and do it. And that is the best way. I learned for that in my in my previous experience in other clubs, when you fight for many titles or competitions, it's, don't think too much. It's, today you have to be the best performance as possible. That is where it is. And sometimes, maybe Aguero cannot play Wednesday because during the process, their people are tired, their people are injured. So, and no handling day by day. No, no, no more secrets than that. A few weeks ago, before the West Ham game, you said you wanted to see something special in the team in terms of fighting for the title. Has that been something that's carried on through the international break and into today. But, yeah, I was really surprised the way we, we <coughs> approach, the way we start. Even Mikkel told me that in the, in the warm up, the, wow, the warm up, they did it incredible. They are there, they are there. Always international break, always you have the doubts about one week off the players, most of the players stay here. The Iowa national team changed the training session, changed the rhythm, came back for their own countries. And you, you are a little bit distracted, that's normal. And you don't have time to be involved. Just two days and after 12.30, you know, and, and, and sunny. So that situation is, is a little bit different. That's why I was incredibly surprised how good we start in the intensity with and without the ball. In the first 30 minutes, well, maybe 3-0 was clear result for, for us. We missed the last pass, the last action, the individual action, but sometimes that happened. But that is the only way, the only way. So if you are tired, let me know. You aren't going to play because you will let me know you can you have to be fit. You cannot be tired. And and, and they show me again they, they want to do it. Given that hunger that you just explained there that seems to be seen in your players at the moment, is it a good thing to play every three days that it's, it's easy to maintain that? Yeah, yeah, it's necessary. And people say no when you have a break and I have to prepare. So maybe for the maybe I don't know, for the semi final cup, semi final and for the Champions League. Being in the position, the Premier League, like you know, if you don't win, you are going to lose the Premier League. Maybe it's going to help us for other competitions. When you have 10 points or 10 points in front, after you can be a little more selective, you know that. And now, it's not, not, not another option. So we don't have another choice. So we have to, every game to play, you win. If not, you drop that competition. And that's why sometimes feel or play with this pressure is nice. It's, it's necessary. 
to, you know, to take the best of all, all ourselves. Uh, will you send anyone to Spurs on Wednesday because it's a new stadium and, and no one knows much about it, just to, to find out what it's like? Uh, what next next Tuesday? On Wednesday, yeah. Spurs play Palace. Oh. Will you, will you have someone there, not only to look at Spurs? No, but, but I think we, we know quite quite well each other. We play many times, we saw on TV. On Wednesday we have a game, so we have to try to do. Tomorrow we are going to watch the game, yes, against Liverpool. And but no, I don't think so. We have a lot of stadium in a new stadium. We're going to tr we're going to train there the day before the Champions League game. So yeah. we'll take the the smell of the new stadium there. So but also here is my first time I'm here in Fulham. First time this is in British British Stadium for its first time, so at the end it's it's normal. Okay, okay yeah, thank you guys.